Yo, what's up my Trey Scribes? This is your boy Trey Cross with another AMV tutorial. We are doing, in a nutshell, AMV tutorial today, my first one, where I would usually pick an AMV of any type and try to redo it in After Effects, a certain part, or a 3D, or whatever it is, to show you guys how they did it, and things like that. But this time, I am not doing that. I am actually... Picking one of my part, um, AMV parts or MEP parts, the Vidim, because a lot of you guys asked, Trey, how do you do the no object? It was like a five second in the beginning, and I did like a quick thing. To you guys, it was quick. To me, it took like two hours to just render that one part because of the old computer. But I wasn't able to uh, render it because, I mean, uh, make a tutorial on it because the computer was lagging and all of that. I couldn't do 3D stuff. So please forgive me, guys. It wasn't like I wanted to ignore you. It was just I didn't have the power to. But now I do. And now that's what I'm going to do. So first you want to make sure you make a composition. As you see I was doing that already. And have a footage that you want to pick that you want to lose. Next you want to go to layer. You want to go ahead and click new in the camera. We're going to keep it on 35. You might have yours on 25 uh, or something like that. Or 50 but change it to uh, 35. We're going to go back to new. And we're going to click no object. No object is really basically like your uh, puppet puppet master. He controls everything. You can tell no object. I want you to control these things inside After Effects or 20 things at once. Now the only way you can have no object control things is losing the parent tool. And if you don't know what pairing is, it's fine. You don't really have to know. All you're doing is basically telling, hey camera, follow the uh, no object. So you're basically saying, hey toddler, the little kid, go follow your parents home. You know. So that's what you're basically doing. And you want to take the null object and make sure you have it on a 3D layer. If you don't, nothing will happen. If you don't have these little indicators on your null object, they won't work. And remember, your null object is like a little square. That's it. If you don't know how to get to your 3D uh, modes, then you just toggle switch down here, press the F4 key, and that will also help. Next thing that's very important, you want to make sure that the footage itself is 3D. If you do not have it in 3D, layer then it will not work and you'll be moving this as you can see if we were to move this nothing's happening yeah so that's that's messing everybody up so yeah so now let's click this on 3d layer and now let's use the no object and let's see what that looks like now you see the no object stay in place but what we're really doing invisibly is moving the camera itself and as you can see edwards uh clip or the footage layer is actually moving in 3D space. And we have your Y axis that goes up and down, your X axis that goes left and right, and your Z axis. What you're going to get in your 3D uh, 3D layer camera is your zoom in and zoom out. So just remember Z means zoom. Blue for Z, Y for X. I mean, no, <laughs> Y for green and X for red. My fault. So, so the main two important different types of. Uh, transform uh, tools that you can use for your uh, camera is really just your position and your rotation everything else you really don't need or have to touch so for right now we're just going to work on position now your position this is your x your uh, y axis and then you have your x axis and then you have your z axis your zoom and all of that stuff now as you saw in my uh, venom mep part <laughs> i keep getting that confused you saw that I zoomed in or I was zooming out. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in, increase your uh, Z axis until we just get a nice little tiny black spot where we pass the clip. Then you want to keyframe that. If you guys don't know how to keyframe, then this tutorial is not for you. Then we're going to zoom back out or what you could just do is click reset. And now what we just did, we zoomed out. And see that's a nice transition because we zoom out with Eric showing his hands, his white gloves, whatever you want to call it, Michael Jackson stuff. So yeah, so now that we have that done, you might say, well, Trey, I want to do some more stuff. So let's do that. Now, after we have paused the clip, we're going to go forward in time, and we're going to zoom out some more. Now remember, you're telling, you got to make sure you tell After Effects, hey, do you want to zoom all the way out like this, or do you want After Effects to zoom out just enough, and then zoom out some more? Now, as you can see, there is no pause. If you want uh, After Effects to say, hey, I want you to pause here for a few seconds for the music, you want to uh, copy and paste that keyframe. And now you just told After Effects, hey, zoom out, 
and to zoom out again in 3D space. Now, as you guys saw in my video that there's were things in the background, but if you guys were really paying attention, it was only two clips really playing. The rest were the same clips replaying itself over and over again. And how I did that was, it's really simple. I took the clip that I was already working on. I went to layer. No, I didn't go to layer. I went to edit my fault. I went to edit and duplicate. That means it makes a copy of that layer. And you see that the layer itself already has its own 3D options. And so we're going to click on the Z axis and tell Hey, we want this clip to go back farther behind the camera. No, we don't want it to come up. So as you see, the eight indicators are getting smaller. That's because it's saying it's getting farther away from the camera, you know. And you want to, uh, we're going to use the X axis to move it to the right. Now that you see, you can see the uh, the clip in the background farther away from the camera and it's in 3D space. What we're going to do, we're going to copy that again. You can press Control D for duplicate or Command D on the Mac. To duplicate it again, and we're going to do the same to the left. And now we just made our little tiny 3D layers. I messed it up. If you click on uh, a clip, if you hold down the shift button, it'll go horizontally or vertical without moving sideways on that. If you guys didn't know, so now we have our own little 3D stuff. And as you can see, we still in 3D space. Now you see how this messes up. You want to make sure you don't <laughs> do what I did and fail. Actually, let's fix all of that now. And like I said, keyframing is the main important thing. You want to make sure you keyframe things. Then we have this nice 3D layers. Now you might be saying, okay, Trey, we see that. That looks cool. Now we want to get to the next option. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can either tell After Effects, hey, let's stretch these out some more. Sorry, guys. You can tell After Effects, hey, we want you... After effects to go to the right first. No. Make sure you click on the no object. We want the no object or the camera to go to the right first. And then we want to go farther. And then we want the camera to say, hey, we want you to zoom in closer to the clip. Until it gets to the right plot. So now you're saying after effects, you go to the right and then you zoom in. Go to the right and then zoom in. Now, if we were to delete this key and say After Effects, we want you to go from the one clip to the next. As you can see, it's not zooming out. It's just zooming straight in to the next clip as possible. And then we have just controlled our first transition in 3D. And you might be saying, hey, Trey Cross, we want you to make it go to the left. Okay, well, you have your X-axis, which is right here. And you can use that, and that is not working for the world. I'm sorry, I picked the wrong stuff. Got the mixed up. Okay, this is your X axis. I don't know how I got those mixed up. And you'll just keep going. Now, as you can see, this blue line is indicating that there's a clip there in the 3D space. And that is saying, hey, I'm getting closer. So, like I said, you want to make sure all your clips are in 3D space. So, now let's uh, render that, see how that looks. It might look weird. And then we have our own little 3D thing like that. And it's very simple. Now I advise you guys that you guys just got to be creative because it's really just you got to be creative with everything that you do. And so me showing you anything farther, there's no point because you just got to do it yourself. So just practice with losing the null object. As you can see, you know, if you want to get a little farther, take more clips, duplicate it. You know, bring it up some, bring it down. Just as simple as that and stuff like that. But there's not really much I could teach you guys on here because you just got to be very, very creative when it comes to 3D stuff. So I hope this guys help you. I guess I will, like I said, I will be making a series of more uh, how to master the camera, the tools, and all of that on my other trick cross account with my designs and motion graphic stuff. So now we have a little nice 3D software and things like that. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. So just remember, you want to keyframe, duplicate your clips, lose in the background, switch it around. 
and I will make another tutorial on this later on maybe next week on how to use your rotation camera to to make it have that nice rotating side to side effect alright guys it's your boy your host Drake Cross peace